Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're embarking on a journey to transform our lives through the power of organization. Just like a well-organized drawer sparks joy, a well-structured routine can spark productivity and fulfillment. It allows us to approach our tasks with intention, making the most of our time and energy. Today, we're diving into eight clever things pro organizers do every day to be more productive. Let's begin. Imagine waking up each morning with a sense of purpose, knowing exactly what you need to accomplish and how to approach your day. That's the magic of a well-crafted morning routine. Start by giving yourself the gift of time. Wake up a little earlier than usual, allowing yourself space to breathe and center yourself before the day's demands begin. Instead of letting your phone be the first thing that dictates your morning, turn to activities that spark joy and set a positive tone. Whether it's enjoying a cup of tea, indulging in a mindful meditation, or moving your body with a gentle yoga flow, choose activities that nourish your mind, body, and spirit. As you move through your morning routine, visualize the day ahead. What are your top priorities? By setting intentions for the day, you'll find yourself approaching tasks with more focus and enthusiasm. By incorporating these simple yet powerful practices into your daily life, you'll start each day with a renewed sense of purpose and clarity. Now that you've set a positive tone for your day with a mindful morning routine, let's talk about a crucial element of productivity, prioritization. Just as we carefully choose which items to keep and which to let go of when tidying our homes, we must also prioritize our tasks to create a sense of order in our workflow. Begin by identifying your MITs, your most important tasks for the day. These are the tasks that hold the most weight, the ones that will truly move the needle forward in your work and personal life. Once you've identified your MITs, assign them a designated time slot in your schedule. By giving them a specific time and place, you're less likely to get caught up in less important tasks that can easily derail your day. Remember, not all tasks are created equal. Some require more focus and energy than others. Consider tackling your most demanding tasks during your peak productivity hours, the time of day when you feel most alert and energized. If you find yourself feeling drained after completing a challenging task, give yourself permission to shift to something less demanding. Alternating between more and less intensive tasks can help you maintain momentum throughout the day. By mastering the art of prioritization, you'll not only accomplish more in less time, but also reduce feelings of overwhelm and stress. Just as a tidy home brings a sense of calm and clarity, so too does a clutter-free workspace. When we're surrounded by clutter, our minds become cluttered as well, making it difficult to focus and be truly productive. Take a moment to look around your workspace. Does it spark joy? If your workspace is cluttered, it's time to embark on a tidying festival. Start by clearing off your desk completely. As you return each item, ask yourself, does this spark joy? Is it essential for my work? If the answer is no, it's time to let it go. Find a designated home for everything. Pens, notebooks, files. Each item should have its own special place where it can be easily found and put away. Consider incorporating elements of nature into your workspace. A small plant, a vase of fresh flowers, or even just a picture of a serene landscape can do wonders for boosting your mood and creativity. By creating a workspace that sparks joy and inspires focus, you'll find yourself more motivated, productive, and at peace throughout your workday. Chapter four, your trusty sidekick, the planner. In our quest for productivity, a planner is our trusty sidekick, our faithful companion on the journey to organized bliss. Just as a map guides us on a road trip, a planner helps us navigate the twists and turns of our daily schedule. Choose a planner that sparks joy and fits your lifestyle. Whether you prefer a digital calendar, a classic paper planner, or a combination of both, the key is to find a system that you'll actually use and enjoy. Take some time each day to review your planner, familiarizing yourself with upcoming appointments, deadlines, and tasks. This simple act of planning ahead can help you avoid last minute scrambling and stay on track. Use your planner not only for scheduling appointments, but also for blocking out time for focused work, personal projects, and even downtime. By assigning time slots for specific activities, you'll find yourself making steady progress towards your goals. Remember, your planner is a tool to help you simplify your life, not complicate it. Chapter five, 
the power of setting achievable goals. Just as we break down a large tidying project into smaller, manageable steps, we can also boost our productivity by setting achievable daily goals. When we have a clear vision of what we want to accomplish, we're more likely to stay motivated and make progress. Start by identifying your top priorities for the day. What are the three most important things you want to achieve? Once you have your top three, break them down into smaller, more manageable tasks. When setting goals, be realistic about what you can accomplish in a day. It's better to set small, achievable goals and consistently meet them than to set overly ambitious goals that leave you feeling overwhelmed and discouraged. Each step forward is a step in the right direction. By setting clear, achievable goals, we create a roadmap for success and empower ourselves to live more productive and fulfilling lives. Chapter 6. The Art of the Refreshing Pause In our quest for productivity, it's easy to get caught up in the momentum of our work and forget to take breaks. However, just as we need to pause and recharge after a long day of tidying, our minds and bodies also crave regular breaks throughout the workday. Stepping away from our work, even for a few minutes, can do wonders for our focus, creativity, and overall well-being. When we give our minds a chance to rest and reset, we return to our tasks feeling refreshed and re-energized. During your breaks, engage in activities that nourish your mind and body. Step outside for a breath of fresh air, listen to uplifting music, practice gentle stretches, or simply close your eyes and enjoy a few moments of quiet contemplation. Consider setting a timer to remind yourself to take breaks throughout the day. By giving ourselves permission to pause, recharge, and return to our work with renewed focus, we can accomplish more and feel more fulfilled in our endeavors. Chapter 7. Creating a Sanctuary of Focus Imagine trying to tidy a room while being constantly interrupted by distractions. It would be nearly impossible to make any real progress, wouldn't it? The same principle applies to our work environment. When we're constantly bombarded by distractions, our focus dwindles and our productivity suffers. Start by identifying your biggest distractions. Is it social media, email notifications, chatty coworkers? Once you've identified the culprits, take steps to minimize their impact on your workday. Silence your phone, turn off unnecessary notifications, and close any tabs or programs that aren't essential for your current task. By creating a digital environment free of distractions, you'll find it easier to stay focused and on track. If possible, designate a specific workspace for yourself, a place where you can go to focus without interruptions. This could be a dedicated home office, a quiet corner of your living room, or even a cozy spot in your favorite coffee shop. If you find yourself getting distracted by thoughts or worries, try jotting them down on a piece of paper and setting them aside to address later. Remember, creating a distraction-free work environment is an ongoing process, not a one-time event. Chapter 8. The Gift of Reflection As our day draws to a close, it's easy to simply shut down our laptops and transition into relaxation mode without giving much thought to the day's events. However, by taking a few moments to reflect on our day, we gain valuable insights that can help us grow and improve. Just as we might take a final look around a tidy room to appreciate the sense of order we've created, we can also benefit from reflecting on our workday and acknowledging our accomplishments. What went well today? What challenges did we overcome? Consider keeping a journal dedicated to work-related reflections. Jot down your thoughts, ideas, and observations, both big and small. Over time, this journal will become a treasure trove of insights that you can refer back to for guidance and inspiration. By identifying areas for growth, we can make adjustments and strive for continuous improvement. As we conclude our exploration of these eight productivity-boosting habits, I encourage you to embrace the ones that resonate most deeply with you. Remember, even small changes can make a big difference over time. Start by incorporating one or two of these habits into your daily routine and gradually add more as you feel comfortable. Stay organized, stay productive, and see you in the next video.